Good afternoon, Knights. Today we're previewing the Arcadia University women's soccer team's 2024 season. Our guest today, head coach Rick Brownell. Coach, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, great, uh, great to be here. Thanks. Uh, we love having you here, Coach. Now, let's talk about the 2024 season. You're returning a team that did gain postseason experience last year, and you have a healthy balance of returners that got a lot of minutes last year and newcomers that are looking to make their mark. What can you talk to us about your expectations heading into this new season? Oh, that's a great question. I I really feel like we've been like growing a little bit every year since since COVID, back to that national contention, and feel like we did a really good job last year turning a corner. About halfway through the season, we really kind of hit the hit the gas pedal hard as a team, and feel like we're kind of on that level again this year, where we're going to definitely take a step forward, and we're excited about it. Um, the rest of the region is also very strong, so it'll be competitive, and you know there will be definitely some challenging games. We're playing some very high competitive teams. Uh, but we're looking forward to the challenge. Now let's talk about the returners. You have a handful of not just seniors, but fifth years that are coming back this year. What are you looking for from those returners as they try to build on what we did last year? Well, we just have tremendous leadership across the board. We're just very excited because one of the reasons we kind of took our time in rebuilding into this level is we want to develop a good, solid leadership core. And it's we have a couple of fifth years, uh, Carolyn Weirich, Rachel Mallow Heiner is just I mean, the amount of effort that they put into the program and the seniors in the program, uh, and we have a very healthy junior class that honestly will be tremendous when, by the time they're seniors. There's just a boatload of leaders along the way. So we have like a leadership group of like eight or nine players that have really, really helped move us forward. So there's def just, just definitely a solid core of that strength in the upper class. Um, and then we're just super excited about the rest of the team as well. So. Now let's talk about the newcomers as they try to get their feet wet, so to say, in their first year. Um, what are you looking for? What have you seen so far? Yeah, we were fortunate enough to have um, one of our preseason scrimmages where they got a lot of playing time. So it was great to see them out there battling, you know, for almost a full game. So they got a lot of experience right out of the shoot. We were very pleased with what we saw. We have, I think, 14 incoming players. It's a big group. And uh, we definitely have some strength in that group that we're excited about and like some very individuals that will make an immediate impact in the program. So we're really, really excited about that, this incoming group as, as you know, the last year's group as well. I mean, came, they came fit and ready to go this year. So we're excited about the, how the future is looking right now. Now let's talk about the MAC Freedom. I feel like I say this about every sport, but the MAC Freedom, a very strong women's soccer conference from the top down. Um, what are your thoughts on the strength of the conference this year, and what are your what are you looking at? Well, I mean, Misericordia has been a juggernaut for years now, and they've really been at the top, and they're gonna they still have those uh, returners that are going to be uh, extremely uh, tough to beat, and they're they're always going to be at the top. Stevens, very very strong program, new coach, new program, but definitely. Uh, definitely, again, going to be a top contender. I think the rest of the conference has really stepped up as well. A lot of new coaches, a lot of fresh energy in there. So as we're getting better, so are they. So it's going to be a lot of parity this year. There's only eight teams in the conference, so it makes it very challenging. Um, you know, one goal could make a difference, and I think it did last year. And we were very fortunate and, and proud of ourselves to get third place last year and feel like we're, our goal, obviously, is to try to see if we can get into the finals this year and, you know, hopefully make a big step forward here if we can. Now let's talk about the schedule. What are some games you're looking forward to in 2024? Well, with, beside the conference is all pretty much through October. It's some very challenging games. I think every conference game is going to be extremely tough. But our non-conference schedule is really very. We I think I counted. We have about six super challenging teams. Uh, we're talking nationally ranked teams or teams that have been recently nationally ranked. So uh, Haverford's always competitive, super competitive. The first game of the year, and that's where we start. Uh, bringing in Cortland, um, which again is a tremendous program. Coming in, uh, we're adding a Messiahs coming back into our program. We haven't played them since we, we left the Commonwealth. Um, they're almost consistently top 10 or better team. Um, uh, again, so we have you know, F&M, we have Montclair. So we have some really, really strong opponents that we're going to be looking at through September to really challenge us to you know, try to hope to get to that next level and, and kind of toughen, toughen us up a little bit for the conference play and then beyond. So. We're looking forward to a fun season, Coach. Arcade University Women's Soccer kicks off the 2024 season this Friday when they travel to Haverford for a 5 p.m. non-conference game. Coach, thanks for joining us. Good luck this year. Thanks so much. Appreciate it.